Hey guys, today I want to show you guys how to set up and mix multiple materials inside of Blender. I'll be using Cargo by Kitbash 3D and show you how to set them up in a way that we get the most out of our materials. So let's dive straight into it. We'll be covering displacement and mixing two shaders. I'm using the soil terrain and the patch grass, which are both free to use. So let's wait for them to load up. There they are. I'm gonna move this aside. So, and let's create a plane. And let's uh, scale it up a bit and give it some subdivisions so we can use vertex paint because first we're gonna build the mix shader. I'm gonna be using pure red and pure green to set the two colors for the materials. So what you should do is first make the entire canvas black. And we have to go back to this display mode. Let's paint it black. And now let's set the first color. You should imagine these like the masks for the two different materials we're going to add. And the second one. Painting it black is actually only necessary if you're going to only use part of the canvas. Let's imagine it's a little bath, for example. Alright, so now let's start to copy over the shaders. you can do like this copy and paste and for our second material we're gonna go over to the shader editor and actually kit bash 3d assets come in a little disorganized so I'm using this node arranger which you can activate in the plugins of blender all right so with everything sorted Let's make sure we're going to copy the right material. So what we'll do is uh, copy one material over to the other shader so that they're all inside of one massive shader. So let's paste it in here. And now the first thing we're going to create is a mix shader. connect both of our materials and let's make an attribute color node and connect it ah looks like I'm working in the wrong object so let's copy over the shader and over here we have our attribute which we created earlier And as you can see, now we're using two different materials. So that's step one. Step two is getting the displacement to work. So grab both of the displacement shaders and add a mix node. And set it to vector and connect both of our displacement shaders. And next up also connect our uh, mask. And now lastly connect this one again to the displacement. If we want to use more than two shaders for example, you can split up the red like this. The advantage of using it like this is that you can use three different masks in the same color layer. Okay, next up let's start building the displacement. Let's add a point light so it's a bit easier to see the depth in our shader. Let's increase the power. The only active displacement which you can see here is a normal map that is connected. So let's switch to cycles to get proper displacement. 
which we will set up inside of the material switch this to displacement only and after that you should be able to see your displacement of course you also have to scale up these two values and we can add a modifier the subdivision surface and to be able to see it in the viewport like this we need to increase the viewport subdivisions So let's increase it, for example, 4. As you can see, the displacement is quite strong, so we have to reduce that. Point 1 is a realistic value, but of course you can use it to your liking. Uh, for example, we could stick to point 4 for this material, because it's a bit... It looks a bit nicer like this. Like a little uh, riverbed. And we can of course go really extreme to something like this. An advantage of this is that you can still paint your maps. For example, you can uh, switch out the other material in part of the mesh. Just like this, you'll get an immediate preview of what you're doing. So let's change it back to a bit lower again. Okay, and that's it. That's how to set up materials the proper way. Thanks for watching.